What's up, y'all? This your boy Jack back again with another video, trying to keep the the content coming. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at the BioStar X470 AMD GTQ motherboard. Uh, it's Ryzen 3000 desktop ready, socket AM4, and let's take a look at some of the specs. Uh, apologize for the light and some of the glare. The box is really glossy. Uh, some of the options, uh, dual boot BIOS, uh, accepts DDR4 RAM, uh, has fly.net, looks like it's a uh, proprietary software for BioStar. Uh, if you have, uh, some RGB lights, they have, uh, a fun zone that you can put stuff in there, uh, for the, v <clears throat> has, uh, accepts 470 chipset. Uh, four six of DDR4 RAM up to 3200 megahertz for PCIe slots. It has uh, one PCIe 3.0 16x slot, has one PCIe 2.0 16x slot, and two PCIe 2.0 uh, 1x slots. Uh, HDMI, DVI-D has a uh, uh, M.2 PCIe 3.0. Four SATA three spots. Uh, you can accept RAID. Uh, let's see, USB 3.1 Gen 2 has two of those. Uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1 looks like it has one of those, and it looks like it has two USB 2.0 ports. Has uh, <clears throat> audio, uh, built in audio on board. Also has a, a gigabit LAN port as well. So the ports you get on the back, as you can see right here, has a regular PS2 keyboard port for USB 3.1 Gen 1s, DVI, HDMI, two 3.1 Gen 2 ports, a Realtek gigabit LAN port, and three audio jacks. So. Uh, I got this for $154 on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. Let's see what you get in the box. This particular, the reason why I'm doing this motherboard, I'm going to be doing a build here on the channel pretty soon. And uh, I have some more items coming. So we'll unbox those and then we'll do a build here on the channel. I'll be upgrading my one of my PCs. Uh, <clears throat> drivers, quick installation guide. Uh, cables, the header for the uh, back of the PC itself. And let's take a look at what we get. And whenever you're handling uh, equipment like this, you always want to make sure that you're either grounded or you're protected. So as you can see, it's protected under there. So I'm not going to burn it out. If it didn't have that, I wouldn't even take it out the box. So just being very, very careful because you don't want to have any type of uh, ESD, any type of static discharge. But just so you can see what you have on the board itself. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a PC build a little bit later on. But this is the first component. And as the rest of the components come in, I'll be doing unboxings and then we'll do a video with a, uh, doing a PC build. So if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just uh, leave them in the comments. And like I said, I'll leave the link in the description for the motherboard itself. And uh, you guys take care of each other. Peace.